start this out by, thank, by thanking the fellow organizers for this event. So I want to thank Garrison Bowling and River Herod of Ohio Student Activist Alliance for being a partner to us throughout all of this. And I want to thank Dylan Gross, candidate for Ohio's 78th House District, yeah. and a candidate that will bring much needed integrity and commitment to equality back to the Ohio State House. I also want to thank the supporters and members of Northwest Ohio Trans Advocacy who are here today and have stood by me through some pretty nasty few months with the things we've been dealing with. I may have get, given Noda the name, but you guys have given Noda its strength. <laughs> so we've gathered here to make a statement to our community, but also to make a commitment to one another. That statement is really simple. As LGBTQ people, we aren't going anywhere. Hell no. And our commitment is that we will stand united with our LGBTQ siblings in this fight. So far this year, more than 550 anti-LGBT bills, many of them targeting trans youth, uh, sorry, <coughs> have been filed and proposed in state houses across the country. Ohio alone has six anti-LGBTQ bills right now moving through the state house with three of them already passed because they rolled two into one. These bills, uh, these are bills that ban life-saving gender-affirming care that out LGBT youth to their families that ban mention of LGBT people and topics in school and ban trans girls from school sports and force trans students into bathrooms that don't match their gender identity. If these bills just seem like an excuse to be vile and cruel, that is by design and many of the sponsors and co-sponsors are from right here in our region. Angie King and Susan Manchester among them. So while these congressional cowards attack LGBT people and trans kids to score some cheap political points with a bigoted base, we're here fighting for our futures. A future where we never have another teen choosing to end their lives rather than face the hatred and bigotry of their own family, like Leela Alcorn. A future where we the people includes all people, and not just those that prioritize gender conformity, antiquated traditions, and power over the lives of our youth. A future where someone's bigotry doesn't get veto power over other civil rights. Yeah. The Pride Movement whoops, okay. The Pride Movement has its roots back 54 years when LGBT people, specifically trans women of color, chose to fight back against the tyranny of a hateful puritanical culture. Now in 2023, we're fighting a similar fight as politicians community leaders, bigoted parent groups, and fundamentalists try to push our community right back into the closet. They desperately want to erase us from public life, but we won't be erased, and we sure as hell won't be silenced. So I'm not here to tell any of you that this is going to be easy. It won't be. The road ahead is going to be filled with potholes and bumps. A far-right culture has placed a bullseye on the LGBT community's backs, and it's going to get much worse before it gets better. For years, the right wing have played the long game. They've packed courts, gerrymandered the hell out of states, and bought the politicians that sit in power over us. We've got to be prepared to fight long and hard, and most importantly, to never give up. We've got to, we've got to be prepared to speak boldly to power. We've got to be voters. We've 
got to be present at school board meetings. We've got to show up when these right-wing politicians have town halls and call them out on their bigotry. We've got to be making our voices heard. And if they don't hear us when we say it, they will hear us when we scream it. In organizing this event, we got more than a little bit of hate, but some good things came out of it. One of the hate profiles that came against us called itself Pride Month is Canceled. And this loud mouth trans woman is prepared to agree with them on that. Let's, let's forget about Pride Month and let's instead make every month a Pride Month. Yeah. Let's make it a Pride year. Let's make it a Pride decade. Let's make this a Pride generation. Yeah. Let's restore pride to its rightful place as not just a festival that we have once a year, but as a proud movement handed down to us by the mothers of pride, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. A movement that stands up, speaks, and makes the bigots really damn uncomfortable. Because at the end of the day, we aren't born of cowards. We're born of proud, bold, trans women, drag queens, and LGBT people who fought off an oppressive regime. We are lovers of peace, but warriors of equality, and we won't stand idly by as nearly 60 years of progress is erased by a bunch of bigots in suits, ties, and American flag lapel pins. Yeah. <laughs> Northwest Ohio Trans Advocacy and the Ohio Student Activist Alliance, along with many other wonderful organizations, <laughs> hair in my mouth, <laughs> are here to inform and equip you to get involved in this fight. We can help give you the tools, but it's up to you to use them. At Northwest Ohio Trans Advocacy, we have a clear mission statement. It's advocacy through allyship, activism, and education. Allyship is standing with our siblings in this fight, even though they may have a different identity, skin color, religion, language, national origin, and etc. from our own. Activism is about refusing to be silent as our LGBT community is under attack. It's about coming out from your comfort zones, calling out the bigots in power, protesting, getting loud, voting, and never giving up. Education is about informing our communities and allies about what is really going on in our state house and giving them the tools to make a difference. It's about promoting facts over misguided, disingenuous rhetoric and lies. We've been handed a strong legacy of pride but that legacy wasn't easily earned. It's passed along to us thanks to our LGBTQ elders, pain, battle scars, and sacrifice. However, that legacy isn't guaranteed. It's not some inheritance that we get without putting in the hard work. Each generation has to be willing to fight to preserve and push forward the cause of equality. They had their battle. Now we have ours. 2023 has to be the era of a new Stonewall movement. Thank you. Yeah.